Hola, hey, what's up, guys? John here. When I started this from paradise and having a course, mango margarita in paradise. Got to have one while you're hanging out in the tropics, right? Tropical drinks for a tropical location. But anyways, I got another question from a viewer and it's kind of similar to some other videos. I've covered the topics on the hotels and stuff when coming and the VIP cards. So this is a way for another variation of a, the same kind of question, but he asked some specific things that I'm going to help. Hi, como estas? So I'm gonna, I have some other things that I'm gonna talk about because he has some questions, a variation to some of the other topics. So he writes, I'm planning to visit TJ in a few weeks. It's not my first time, but it has been a few years since I've been there. I wanted to get some info on the VIP cards at Cascadas. I've read the benefits. I plan to be there on a Monday or Tuesday. I'm not planning on staying overnight, but I am open to it. How does the VIP card work? As far as getting the 70% off on the hotel, do I have to reserve the room online beforehand or can I just take care of it all at the service desk? Also, in order to get the discount, do I have to stay at the hotel overnight or can I just do an early checkout a few hours later or whenever I decide? The reason I want a room mainly is because I'll be there for several hours and I wouldn't mind somewhere to chill and rest and not to mention get a couple of women up there. So. I've covered this topic extensively on a couple other videos, but he asked a couple different things in there. So he's asking. And so he's not even, it's not even his first time he's been here before and he still doesn't know how this all works because they don't really give clear instructions. And it's even hard to find the name of the place of the hotel because it does, it's not even in the same name as the, as the club, you know? So how are you supposed to know where, where to look, you know? So that's kind of why a lot of guys ask the same thing. Hold on. Let me answer this question. Uh, answer this message real quick from one of my girls. So one of my girls just got back from, she went to Puerto Vallarta by herself and I was going to meet her. She invited me to stay with her, but I said, Oh, you know, I'm going to a surf spot to go surf. So I said, I can't go this time, but I'm asking her right now. She just got home and I sent her a video of the place where I'm at right now, having some drinks and hanging out, doing some work. And I asked her, when's your next trip? And so I, she just got home. So I'm asking her, when's your next trip? She's all, what a nice view you have. And I said, okay, well, yeah, next time we'll, we'll, I'll try and meet up with you wherever she goes. And, you know, it's nice to have a local bring you to places. Like I talk about in a lot of different videos is that you want to go experience like what the locals are doing. I don't really like where all the tourists go. Like even this place where I'm at right now is there's no tourists here. It's all lo local Mexicans and they're pretty well off and it's it's a great place to go where you're not going to be surrounded by a bunch of other americans or canadians or whatever and you're going to have all your fucking real experiences not like the tourist experience that is kind of just like the same experience a worse experience but for double and triple the price and the people are less appreciative like the workers are less appreciative because you know they're used to getting how the americans and foreigners they get charged so much and take advantage of them so they're used to that and when someone that comes in that knows what's up, they don't like that because they want to take advantage of all the tourists. So it's kind of like, that's what sucks about it. And so, yeah. So anyways, going back to the video topic that I wanted to cover for you guys. So let's go, let's go through it piece by piece and answer his question. He's planning to come in a few weeks. It's not his first time. It's been a couple of years, but he wanted to get some info on the VIP cards. So he's read the benefits and he's plans to be here on a Monday, Tuesday, which is the best night to come Monday and Tuesday night because there's nobody there. The it's the same girls that work on the weekends. It's all the same girls. So now you get to actually see all the girls there and you won't have to battle with a ton of different guys going after all the hot girls. Cause like if you get there late on a weekend or like later on in the night on a weekend, all the hot girls are taken or if they're not taken, they've already gone up a couple times. So you're getting like some second, third hand, fourth hand pussy. That's already been ran through and you don't know what they did. And sometimes they don't even shower too. On top of that, they don't rinse and it's not, you know what I mean? It's just, I know we're banging them and they're workers, but, and they bang how many guys before that, the days before the weeks before on top of that. But it's just a little bit more different when you're just going right after the, la <laughs> like she just came down and you're going right after the last guy, you know, it's kind of like a different feeling if you understand what I'm saying. But anyways, like I said, Monday, Tuesday is the best night to go. There's like way less people and you'll get better attention from the workers like where I'm at right now. It's a weekday. And, uh, you know, I, yeah, they, they remember who I am. The hot, the hot waitress who was serving me here the other day. She remembered who I am. I just said hi to her. She's super hot guys. And like, I got her, uh, 
Facebook uh, and message her the other night. So now we're friends on social media. So next time I come back, I can take her out, message her and ask her out. So setting myself up for the next visit. But going back to this, Monday, Tuesday, I said, like, is the best best time to go, less crowds, better service, better choices on the girls. Like I said, it's the same girls, but you get to pick the pick of the litter. You get the hottest girls because they're not so there's not so much competition of guys and the girls are their heads aren't their egos aren't so inflated because there's not so much. There's not so many options for them to choose from on like the guys and there's not so many guys begging for their attention. So now it's it's kind of like them wanting your attention. So it's a better better position to be in with them trying to work harder to get your attention and you to pick them and be their client. Hola, what's up guys? Had to interrupt the video to bring you guys an important announcement. A lot of you guys watching, I've been receiving tons of messages from guys that are virgins, that haven't been laid yet, that want to get laid, and maybe guys that have already been laid, but they're not getting access to girls where they're at, so they want to get laid still. You know, these guys are getting taken advantage of, reaching out to escort strippers or whatever they're reaching out to, wasting all that money. If you really need help that bad and you want to do it that bad, reach out. I'll help you guys. We'll discuss whatever it is that you're facing. It can also be other stuff. Maybe you're heartbroken and need advice or need something to help you get over that heartbreak. Maybe you have a wife or a girlfriend where you feel like she's cheating on you or things just aren't the same. I can help you analyze the situation and get over it. I've gone through a lot of relationships already with girls from all over the place, all over the world, different places, you know, so I've seen all the things that they do been in long-term relationships so i know what a marriage feels like i know what divorce feels like i haven't been divorced but in a long-term relationship to where i felt like divorce pretty much and so i've seen a lot of people go through it and i can help you guys that are going through these type of things too if you need help maybe like going to another place i can put you in touch with people in different places in part of my network or find people that are viewers as well that can help that's why i'm doing this to get the word across of the things that i can help you with not just that if you own a business and you're accepting credit cards Cards and you're still paying the fees you don't got to pay the fees no more you're pretty much just throwing your money in the trash you're better off just using it on yourself splurging taking a vacation enjoying like this in a pool in a tropical location somewhere where there's nothing but palm trees around and tropical birds that kind of stuff where the weather's perfect you could be doing that instead or if you know have some friends or family that own businesses that are still wasting their money paying the fees you now i'll be able to help so i can help with a number of things and i'll be glad to you know put you guys in the right direction same thing if you guys got want to go to costa rica i got friends out there cancun i got friends down there philippines i got a lot of friends out there so if you guys need help on any of that stuff reach out I'll be glad to put you in contact so that way you can have a better experience all around. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Adios. So he's planning to not stay o overnight, but he's open to it. So, you know, it's good. Good to have it. So if he does want to stay overnight, he can. And, you know, depending on what time you got to leave, then it's better to rest up and have a fresh, get all your energy when it's time to go. So you're alert and you're awake and you're, you're relaxed and especially if you got to drive somewhere. You know, it's hard to drive sleepy sleepy or buzz you know so how does the vip card work as far as getting the 70 percent off on the hotel do i have to reserve the room online or or beforehand or can i just take care of it all at the service desk so how does the vip work as far as getting the 70 percent off and do you have to reserve the room online okay online firsthand yes you don't have to reserve online before you go but you should because a lot of the time when you go there, they're going to tell you that it's sold out. And it's happened to me a bunch of times where they tell me it's sold out. And it's like, you know, I talked it all like, come on, man. You guys know me already. Just pull up one of your magic rooms and get me one of those. And some they'll magically pull up a room, an emergency room. But yeah, for 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 the most part, yeah, they will tell you like it's sold out and that you're going to have to wait till three or four hours after the reservation of the person the, the person that made a reservation, you got to wait three or four hours for them to not show up for the room to become available that was once reserved. And that's kind of like the bad thing of the reservation system on how they run things over there is that you you have to wait and it's like they can't give out the room and there's no deposit needed. So people can just not show up and they just wasted all that time where you would have been waiting. Instead of waiting, you would have had a room already, you know, and that's what they should do is prioritize the people that are already there. It's guaranteed money. Instead of waiting for the fuckers that, that are reserving online that ain't even there, you know? And then let the guys that are reserving be like, dude, you showed up too late. You should have came earlier. That way it makes them get back in line and respect the time that they reserve. 
instead of uh, trying to show up whenever they fucking feel like it within three or four hours, you know? So you do have, you should reserve online ahead of time. That way you got the confirmation email. And then even if they say they're sold out or they double booked it or overbooked it, they'll figure out a way to accommodate you. And so when you do book it online, you don't got to put a credit card. They don't take a credit card. There's nothing. They just email you a confirmation that they received your email. And then they need to email you again to, re to co really confirm the, the reservation is legit. So it's don't that, just that first email doesn't mean you're reserved. So you got to wait for the second email where someone actually sends it to you. tells you, hey, we got a room for you. So that's how you got to do it. And uh, can I just take care of it at the service desk? You can, but like I said, chances are they're going to tell you it's sold out. And if it's not sold out, then you're, you're, you're lucky that day because the Monday, Tuesday do sell out because of this special they have. Also, in order to get the discount, do I have to stay at the hotel overnight or can, or can I just do an early checkout a few hours later or whenever I decide? The reason I want the room is mainly is because I want to be there for several hours and I wouldn't mind somewhere to chill and rest. Not to mention to get a couple women up there. Amigo, amigo, um, vaso de hielo. What's oh, see? Guys, it's so hot here that the, the ice melts so fast for the drinks. You know, I appreciate the outreach, the comments, and the emails. And if you can, share these videos with a friend. Or also, at the very least, uh, just give it a like. It doesn't cost anything or take more than a half a second for you to click the like. Because then what it does when you click like, YouTube will suggest the videos to other people that have the same interests as you. So that's kind of like how the whole algorithm works. And so that, that goes and helps a lot too, you know? Like, if you're not writing comments or sending donations or whatever, pressing like and writing a comment helps greatly as well, you know, because then YouTube will know that you find it useful and that it'll start suggesting, it'll know that it's a legit video that can help somebody and it'll start suggesting it to other people that are kind of like watching the same things that you're watching. And so let's answer the, answer the first part. Do I have to stay at the hotel overnight or can I just do an early checkout a few hours later whenever I decide? Yeah. Like I said, I always give this advice too. Even if you're planning to not stay overnight, you should get the room for overnight, especially if you got the VIP card and got the 70% off or the 20% off on the 70% off Monday, Tuesday, 20% off all the other nights. So especially if you got the discount and especially if you're going to go up more than once, you already got you already got the room paid for. If you go up more than once, you've already paid the same price or more for a, a, a temporary room than you would have paid for a overnight room. And like he said, can he just check out early? Yeah, you can check out early. Just check out whenever you feel like it. And remember, they're going to they're gonna ask you for a deposit. They're going to take a deposit of like $50 cash. It has to be in cash for the mini bar that they have over there. So prepare, make sure you bring cash to give them the deposit and they'll get the deposit back. Make sure you don't lose the receipt. They give you a little receipt that has the deposit on it. Make sure you keep that receipt because you're going to need that to get your, your deposit back. So make sure you, you put that in a safe place and don't lose it. At least take a picture of it at the very least. So that way, in case you do lose the piece of paper, you can show them like, hey, this is my receipt and here's my deposit. You know, and so you can get your cash back. Especially if you didn't buy any drinks or uh, use the stuff in the mini bar that they're charging you for, then you'll get your all the money back. And if you did buy some drinks, they take the drink money off the mini bar. So I always do recommend getting it, even if you're planning on not staying overnight. And like for that purpose of like banging multiple girls, you save money that way. And just make sure you have the guys clean it right after each girl so that the room looks clean and fresh when the next girl comes up and they won't get a bad impression of you when they walk in and be like, ew, this guy just banged or he's dirty or he's messy. And now he's banging me. They're going to feel disgusting. You know, even though they're working, you got to remember they're still girls and they still think the same way girls do because it's just that's it's female nature. And so, like, don't don't just just think because you're paying that you can be a slob or be a dirty or disgusting pig. You know, like it's it's bad hygiene, bad bad impression on your part. You know, just have it clean. Give the guy a dollar for cleaning your room, and then it looks fresh as soon as the girl walks in. She sees that she thinks she's the first one, even if she could be like the fifth one you've gone up. You know what I mean? So that's what you got to do, and give them the impression that you're a clean guy, and this is the first. You're the this is the first girl. And that way she'll perform better instead of being disgusted and not wanting to perform and just want to get out of there, you know. And it's great to have the room because then you get to rest after. Like, you don't want to be, like, forced to stay in the bar the entire time. You can go take a nap, go relax, lay down, use your phone and use the Internet, you know, and take a break and get some peace and quiet. 
or get some work done, you know? And so it is a good idea. And then he asked like, can you check out, do an early checkout a few hours later or whenever you decide? Yeah, it's perfect. Just so make sure you show the receipt to get your deposit back. And then, then you could leave after they check the room. And so he said mainly because he wants to be there for several hours and wants a place to chill and rest and not to mention getting a couple of women out there. Perfect reasons as to why I mentioned to, to make sure you get a room overnight, even if you're not going to. And especially with the VIP card, you're going to come out ahead and pay less than what you would have paid for, for two, two bangs, the girls. So great question. Like, if you have questions, like if maybe this is the first video you found me because I get a lot of new guys finding my channel that have never been there. They're trying to do research to come down. Then if you have a question, go ahead and ask it. And chances are if enough people ask or if it's a good question, then I will, I'll do a video covering it. So that way it helps other people because you're most likely not the same. You're not the only person thinking about these same questions that, that, uh, they're having and it will help more people than just yourself. So. All right, well, that's it for now, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and lot. Got some good information out there. And if it's your first time coming down, be careful. You're going to, going to become addicted, and you're just going to keep wanting to come down, and you're going to have a big smile on your face on your way home. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Buena vida. Salud. Guys, it's finally here. I got the Jedi group open, and I got a website put together for all you guys that can reach out to me instead of sending me an email. The website's 420john69.com and pretty much everything you need is listed out on the links above and the links ab links below. So if you're interested in a Jedi group, if you're interested in uh, getting help with a trip, relationship advice, credit card service, real estate, affiliate programs, pretty much anything that I'm talking about, business, investments, it's all on the website, so that way you guys can help me help you a lot faster. That way I don't miss out on any of the emails, and it'll help me stay in touch with you guys, even if something happens to the channel or the Instagram or whatever, if everything gets taken down or blocked by the platforms, I'll still have a way to get in touch with you guys. So go ahead and go to the website and pick whichever link that you need help on and fill out the information, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Look forward to seeing you there. All right, talk to you guys soon. Adios, pura vida. All right, guys, so... I'm putting together these groups, the, my Jedi Master Inner Circle. So there's gonna be two levels to it. You're gonna have the Jedi Masters, which are the guys that are making 100K or more per year at least, and have been well-traveled, have a lot of experience, and know of different places that we can go to experience and find beautiful girls and be able to share amongst everyone and give advice to other people as well. And then we're also gonna have the young Jedis that maybe aren't as experienced or just starting out in life or are young and don't really have much money, but they wanna live this lifestyle. They're being inspired and they wanna start and learn and be able to communicate with each other. So that'll be the second level. And of course the Jedi Master level can will be in both so that you'll have the Jedi Masters also helping the young Jedis by answering questions uh, for people that are new and then the Jedi Masters, what we're going to do is have like trips maybe once a year where all of us Jedi Masters come together and have go to a destination where we'll be able to experience all of this together and share and network and share financial advice, how to make money. It'll be how to make money, how to deal with breakups, how to meet girls, pretty much everything that you're seeing on my, vid my videos that I'm teaching, we'll be able to network and do it in person and put, put together these groups and meetings for people and kind of be my me as the connector, connecting all of you guys together because I'm getting all these messages from people from all walks of life in different parts of the world. And a lot of you guys tell me that you don't have anyone to share these experiences with or share your stories and share all the knowledge that you've uh, accumulated throughout the years. And once you communicate with me, it's like you're spilling your entire story because you're so excited to tell someone finally because there's no one else you can take. You can't tell your friends, can't tell your family, and there's no one you can ask questions. There's no one you can uh, share these intimate details with. And so I wanna bring you guys together with other like-minded people that are watching my videos and kind of wanna live this lifestyle as well. And let me know which Jedi master uh, or Jedi part level in the inner circle that you wanna be in. There's gonna be either the young Jedi or the Jedi masters. And the Jedi masters is gonna be for you guys to join that's the, the screening process and then we got the young jedis for flux that way it's affordable and the fight is to screen out obviously if you're doing well there isn't much and then it keeps out the people that aren't serious it's kind of like the 
how to weed out the people that aren't really real. And of course, there's going to be moderation and there's going to be like con content moderation where I moderate who gets in and interview the people that want to come in to make sure they're real. And that way, everyone that's in the group is actually there because they want to be and that they share this similar outlook on life and want to live this type of life and level up even more, make more connections, make more friends, kind of like me and Tim, the 72 year old that you've been seeing interview and other people you haven't seen in my videos uh, that I hang out with. It'll be kind of like being into the inner circle and make, make these kind of bonds that will last a lifetime and these kind of memories that we can share together and have some awesome adventures together. You guys will be invited once you pay the entrance fee and then we'll get you in. All right, guys, that's it. Adios, pura vida. You say adios, baby. Adios. <laughs> Bye. Well, like, guys, if you uh, coming down here to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, I have friends down here as well that can take care of stuff. If, if you're headed down to Costa Rica, I got friends in Costa Rica that can help take care of the stuff, you know, help uh, assist with transportation and activities and lodging and things like that. And then the business that helped me live this life is the credit card service business. So if you own a business and you're still paying the credit card fees, you don't have to do that anymore. Stop wasting your money be enjoying it every month instead of like whatever you're paying to the bank a thousand two thousand to the bank every month you can take it and go on a vacation look at the ocean how beautiful it is down here and the weather is perfect it's so early in the morning I'm already sweating it's tropical and like uh, people are swimming down there if you could see and I, the only thing I wish that was down here is the that there was more waves but like I said if you own a business uh, you don't have to pay for the fees you can use it for vacation take your family out reinvest in your business or whatever it is you want to do on with it. It's just, it's way better than wasting it, paying it to the bank and getting nothing in return. So that's it. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Adios.